What is going on, guys? It's your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If nobody told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So we're going to tap in a little different today. I got a new deck. It's my spiritual deck. I usually use it for myself, but I feel like we've been covering a lot of relationship problems and adversities and overcoming. So also, I've been in like my like witchery like dark divine feminine energy and i don't know if it's because of the moon but i know you guys are feeling it too some of you guys may feel more sexual some of you guys may feel more sensual and sexy okay at this time all right um so let's see what the divine has in store for you why did i why, why was i called to use this deck what messages right what truth what clarity do you need on your life on you all right so let's tap in archangel michael and a label i ask that you protect me as i channel this energy for the collectives let's see what's going on with them spiritually where they at how are they really really holding up these moon cycles all right heart of source all right, you are fully connected to source right now, whoever I'm speaking with. All right, your heart is fully connected to source. And that means you are fully reliant on faith. You no longer see things for what it is because you know that there's a greater power and there's a higher power over this whole life that we are learning to live. So... Your heart is connected to source. The heart of source. You are the heart of source is what I'm getting. Okay. This is a lot of light. All right. You are being, you are receiving a lot of light codes. All right. This is all in compassing love. This is unconditional acceptance. This is serenity. I know a lot of people are going through things right now, but this is somebody that has truly found serenity. You know, that's a big deal. Serenity is the heart of source. I can't express it any kind of way. When you are connected to source, you know that certain things are going to happen in a certain way. You understand divine timing. You understand divine pressure instead of stress all right your heart chakra open all right your reactions are different even when you are angered all right so this is a big deal look soft light codes all right there's an upgrade in your system right now all right and you're being taught whoever you are by a great teacher all right, your spirit guides. Y'all gotta look these things up. Look up, look up Thoth. All right. This is divine magic. Divine magic. So you are tapping in to like your sacred magic. All right. I'm getting like I'm getting like divine feminine energy. I'm getting like womb. I'm getting like your womb is open to receive. You know? That's what I'm getting, guys. So let's see. Let's see what's going on with this serenity. Like you guys are accepting. You know, when you in a when you are in the energy of serenity, you are accepting and allowing. You are no longer fighting with source. You are no longer fighting against what is being detached and removed from your life. Spirit, tell me more about this energy. You're vibing. You're bright. You're glowing. Your aura. All right? Look at that. Stellar gateway activation. This is all about infinite potential. This is all about you're stepping into a manifestation vortex. You're manifesting at a high rate, collectives. All right? 
You are connected to, to your past life. You are, con- you are finally remembering. Thank you, spirit. You are finally remembering bits and pieces of your past life and who you are and how powerful you are. Okay. And how much love you have to give and you just been giving it to the wrong people, baby. There's an unconditional acceptance here when it comes to serenity, your peace. Remembering who you are, stepping into a season of a manifestation vortex. Okay. Giving you infinite potential. Do you know what that word is? Infinite. That's like never ending manifestations. All right. And with these pyramids, you're learning who you are. So when you're learning who you are, you're realizing that there's no need to be jealous. When you're learning your gifts from your past life and who you were in your past life and what you are meant to do here on this earth. Do you know how great that feeling is when you know you're tapping into your own unique abilities and you know like people can't do what you're doing? So there's no need to judge. There's no need for anger. There's no need for doubt. That is true serenity. That's not saying you're not going to get angry. You're not going to get sad. You're not going to cry. But true serenity accepts all of that. And understands that that is just a feeling. And you never allow it. To get you to focus on a negative thought or the negative feeling for too long because you are manifesting. You're stepping, you're stepping in to a manifestation vortex. June is going to be completely different for you, whoever I'm speaking with. All right, spirit, tell me more about this energy. Look at that. The emerald tablet of activation. Do you know what the emerald tablet is? Okay. It's, it's, it's a tablet where I've heard that it had like special writing on it, special encoding of things. And it's, it's cosmic ordering. You know, cosmic lore. You understand cosmic lore. This is divine alchemy. That's why I'm feeling like this magic, this witchery, this back to our roots, this divination. And you are consciously manifesting so the emerald tablet activation it signifies cosmic ordering divine alchemy and conscious manifestation and you got the manifest manifestation vortex right here once your heart is open once you are in a space of serenity it's very hard to get pulled out of that space all right When you understand, like when you fully, all right, this is somebody that fully understands that they are unstoppable, that they are unstoppable. And because that's giving you confidence, you're unlocking who you were. And a lot of you guys are royalty. A lot of you guys are high priests and priestess. A lot of you guys are kings and queens. A lot of you guys own land. A lot of you guys look over massive amount of people to lead all right and you are currently in this state of cosmic ordering you are in this state of divine alchemy right now you are consciously manifesting what you want no longer manifesting from scarcity or time running out or feeling like that you understand it's just a different type of understanding all right look at that Soul star activation. You are fulfilling your soul contracts, collective. You are remembering who you are. What did I say? Horus energy, Thoth. These are your ancestors. You, you are, you are awakening them. They are living through you right now. Whoever you are, you've been crowned with majesty. Do you see that star that's over your head? All right. 
You have activated your soul star family, your ancestors, all right? That is manifesting through people, through, through, through manifestations, through, through opportunities, all right? And you're fulfilling these contracts because you're remembering who you are. And when you know who you are, a lot of people claim to know who they are. When you know who you are, really, there's no, there's no need to compete. Even if I like something that you do, there's no reason to be jealous because I can never do it like you and you can never do it like me. But this is somebody that is completely connected to source right now. There's nothing in between you and source. All right. You are remembering who you are and that is powerful because that comes with unlocking gifts. Look at this light. Look at this angelic light around you. All right. This is the Arcturian light codes. All right. This speaks about evolutionary downloads. You are receiving downloads from your past life to clear out these missions on earth here. You're remembering. You're recalling your power. All right. You're thinking in the future like you're pa- you, whoever you are, you're, you're, you're ahead of your time. And that's because your frequency collectives is rising. Your frequency is rising. So if something don't work out, you are at a place and at a state of mind where you know it wasn't meant to be. You no longer are getting frustrated. You are no longer upset. You are no longer allowing that to mess up your day because you know what's aligned with you will happen. All right. You have a lot of angelic support around you right now. Okay. You are receiving again, a lot of evolutionary downloads from your past life and you feel good. You feel set apart. You feel unique and you should. Okay. There's a lot of angels around you. A lot of angels, honey, a lot. You might get um chills sometimes at night at certain hours but honey whoever i'm speaking with you are different you are di- look these angels angelic frequency what did i tell you your frequency is rising there's so many angels around you and i know you feel it I know you feel it, especially this full moon. This full moon is different. You're no longer in your feelings. You're no longer mad about things that didn't happen. All right. You're understanding why things happened. And it was happening for you, not to you. All right. So there's a lot of angelic energy around you. You have a lot of angels, baby, around you right now. And it literally says... The angels are here. You are safe. Potent connections to the angelic realm. All right. So in this reading, your angels are here. That's what it says. It says right here. Angels are here. Angels are here in this reading for you collectives. So you can know how powerful you are. So you can feel this energy. From this full moon. It is raising your vibration. Because it is the full moon in Sagittarius. Thank you. When you speak about Sagittarius energy. You speak about. You. Going against the norm. When it comes to things that you was told not to do. This is you picking up a certain practice. Or belief system. When you was told not to do it. This is fully. Being connected to source when it comes to you being pulled in a certain direction. That's your angels, baby. Oh my gosh. Look. The Galactic Council is here. Oh my gosh. You are there. All right. You answered the call. All right. This is your time to shine. The Galactic Council has ordered this to happen this way there is no going back there's no you got too much support from your angels you don't even need nobody all right people are you you're, you're being guided to your soul family 
All right. Star being guys are around you right now. Your guys are in this reading. Your guys are around you. Your guys are speaking through me. You're going to feel magical. You're going to feel uh, energy out of nowhere of confidence, of creativity. Maybe even powers. Seriously. This is not going to be for everybody. Maybe even powers. Okay, look. The Holy Grail. The Ace of Cups. The only way you could get to the Holy Grail is within. Is within. When you have found the Holy Grail, that is serenity, all right? It is an inner discovery of your soul, all right? It is finding your sacredness in solitude with yourself. You don't need nobody, all right? You are what you seek. You are what you seek. Everything you are seeking outside of yourself, you are that. Any relationship you are seeking outside of yourself, you are that relationship, any money you are seeking outside of yourself, you are that money. You no longer are seeking outside of yourself for anything. Anything. You have found it within. All right? You have found it within. Spirit, tell me more about this reading. This is aligning with a lot of new soul tribes, soul families, people that you are going to meet and you're going to feel like you knew them for, for your whole life. You're going to feel a sense of security, um, a, a security blanket. You're going to feel them pouring love into you. Okay. You're going to feel them being your family. You might be shocked. At all of this angelic frequency that's going on around you, collectives, for real. Okay. You are in full, complete cosmic order. That's divine alchemy. That's my yacht. And you're consciously manifesting. Manifesting. Look, the nine of fucking pinnacles. You are independent. You're, you're independently successful right now. Wealth. Abundance, happiness, joy, fulfillment, serenity, infinite potential, unconditional, okay, acceptance of yourself. No more saying that you're ugly. No more saying that you're an addict. No more saying that you're not able and capable of divine love. No more saying that you're, you're, you're not going to ever find a spouse. No more saying that you're... This marriage or this relationship that you are unhappy in, it is the end. No more. No more. You are successfully independent at something that you're doing right now in your career, in your life. All right. You are achieving a lot by yourself. June will be different for you. Spirit, tell me more about this nine of pentacles. The Knight of Wands, you on your journey. This could be somebody coming towards you too. All right. Because the Knight of Wands is somebody that is on a journey as well. All right. And the pyramids are right here. The pyramids are right here. What I'm getting is that somebody is about to step into your world. Somebody is about to step into your world. Okay. A lot of people coming in. All right. Look. There's a lot. Of overwhelming emotions right now when it comes to. You raising your vibration. It is a lot of jealousy. It's a lot of envy that cannot penetrate. This light of yours. All right. It is your conscience manifestations. It is you fulfilling soul contracts. It is you remembering who you are that is allowing this person or these people in. You are consciously doing that. 
and you are consciously denying access to people to come in such a high vibration and an evolution, uh, a revolutionary time for you right now. You have the power of manifesting. You have sacred ancestors that's out here. You have so much angelic frequency that you are consciously allowing people in and denying people access. Okay. Spirit, tell me more about this energy. All right. You have so many opportunities, baby. Like June, this month, and for your whole life moving forward, there's going to be nonstop opportunities, okay? You are no longer going to live out your days asking anybody for anything. You are going to be in control of a lot of resources right now because you are trusted. With cosmic ordering. All right. You have a lot of people. In um, the eight of swords energy. This could be a queen of swords. All right. The queen of swords. I always tell you as a warrior of truth. Okay. And. Right now. There's something. That's eating them up inside. When it comes to. Their energy and watching something or seeing you glow up and, and noticing how much angelic frequencies are around you. All right. If this person, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, they don't have to be. If this person was in control of your life, this is a mother, f um, aunt, sister, cousin, relative, sibling. They are used to having control. All right. They never in their life seen somebody shining like you after what you've been through in a nine of pentacles energy. They never seen how much of an example God could use you as when it comes to angels. For some of you guys, you literally Always talk about your spirit, guys. You always talk about angels. You always talk about spirit. And the queen of swords or these people probably thought you was crazy. They probably thought you was out of, out of your mind. Like how they are right now. Out of their mind. Of how remaining solid to your journey. How remaining solid to your ancestors. When all odds was against you. When you was by yourself. Look at these people now. Queen of Swords, confused and delusioned because they can't stop you. You're unstoppable right now, all right? This definitely has to do with a relationship, but you have the Holy Grail. So again, anything that consciously you allow in, it is for your greater good moving forward. You no longer have to second guess yourself, sweetie. You don't no longer has to have to second guess yourself about a relationship. And if you are allowing this Knight of Wands in your vortex of manifestations, then you know there's a bigger purpose for this connection. The Two of Cups could even be friends. All right. But somebody is salty. Somebody is salty. Yeah. Somebody, there's, there was a lot of lying. You know what I'm saying? Like facade. You're not in serenity when you have to lie. You don't have, you're not, you're not discovering anything within. You're not finding no sacredness within yourself alone. You are not seeking who you are if you have to lie. Whether it's to somebody, whether it's to a boss, if you cannot speak your truth, if you cannot share your feelings, what you need them for? Because it should be an honor that you even explain yourself anyway as an angelic being. 
Spirit, tell me more about this um seven of swords. The page of cups. Maybe this queen of swords couldn't figure it out. Maybe they didn't want to pray to their ancestors only when they needed something. Maybe they only prayed to God or their ancestors when it was cool. When everybody was doing it. When they needed something to happen. They wasn't giving offerings. They wasn't, they didn't have a dedicated spiritual practice. They didn't think that spirituality and angels are real. They probably just read about it. But you know, you felt, you are. All right. And somebody is in a very uncomfortable position, stuck there. To get enlightened on how things work cosmically. All right. This queen of swords is stuck in a very uncomfortable position when it comes to heartache because she didn't value her own holy grail. She thought she did probably. She is suffering with loss because she didn't know how to detach and she was fighting spirit. That's the uncomfortable situation she in and she's definitely uncomfortable in her finances. Definitely uncomfortable. All right. She went from the queen of swords to making good decisions, conscious decisions, and was given that position to do that. Okay. And she did, she did nothing. What she did was hurt everybody heart, including her own. For operating out of hate. For operating. And she was trying to manifest from a broken heart. You cannot do that. So that's another thing she's um, in hangman position for. All right. And with this nine of swords, she realized that she cannot blame nobody but herself. No relationship because we all got free will. No family because you got to be you got to be ready to de detach from your motherfucking family when God says. All right. You got to be ready to detach when fucking spirit said pack your shit and go. All right. Spirit going to give you the money. You just got to take that initiative. That's what a test is at. OK, so now this person went from the queen of pentacles to the four of pentacles. OK. And that's a confirmation. Scraping. No money coming in. Having to be stingy. That's enough. Stingy. You heard these, you hearing these confirmations. She was stingy. But wanted love. She was stingy and she, she was stingy and she probably didn't even know she was stingy. Because when you're not ready to do the work, the inner work, and when we get, you know, past. A certain level of existence. We set in our way sometimes. And that's why history will, pe will repeat itself. And that's where it stops for minds. And I made sure it stopped for minds. And whoever this reading is for. Y'all made sure it stops for Charles. Because history will continue to repeat itself. If you keep blaming everybody else. Except yourself. That's serenity. That's being comfortable with your faults. That's being comfortable with getting cheated on. That's being comfortable with going through addictions. That's being comfortable with who the fuck you are. Okay? That shit don't validate you. All I did was made you walk a different path so that way you could teach it. So that way you could fucking be relatable to motherfuckers. And that's another thing you did successfully. Collectives. You are relatable in a way that is unmatched when it comes to the spirituality. All right. Because a lot of people that teach spirituality from my experience has scared the people away from many things. But you're being gifted and praised for bringing the people in, bringing the people in. 
and shedding light on those that need to be exposed and removed from the titles, from the false realities, from the facades, and the veil needs to be lifted. And that's what's going on. All right. Um, Spirit, tell me more. What Matter of fact, what's the closing messages? I think this is pretty clear. The world call ending them. It's, it's over, baby. You are done with your karmic debt. You are freed, baby. The world card is you step. In, there's no wrong way. Because any way you go moving forward, you've learned the spiritual lessons of the tarot deck. So there's no wrong way. You found serenity within yourself. Anybody in this queen of swords energy or would come to you in the future with this queen of swords energy out here. You're not going to give in. You're not going to pay no mind. You're vibing too high. You might not even see these people no more. You might not even hear about these people no more. You might not even know these people no more. For real. If you know what I mean. Like, don't know them no more. Like, you you can, you can know me today and don't know me the fuck tomorrow. Because you did your work. You did your work. Yep. What is this Eight of Cups here for? I know you left a lot of emotional baggage behind. I know you left family, friends, fucking siblings, okay, behind. I know you left careers, all right, behind. Look, and started up, you started from the bottom, all right, Page of Pentacles, all right. When I say the bottom, you started from scratch. Not a lot of people could do that, all right. That's angelic support. That's you being used as an example. That shit can happen. Everybody want to always say, oh my gosh, I'm so, oh, oh my gosh, I'm so dude. I, get it, get it together. Work. There's always money to be made. There's always a skill or ability to be learned. There's always a path of faith to be walked, to be taught, to lead, do something. And y'all did it. Y'all started from the, y'all went from the nine probably. No, that's how y'all got to the nine. Y'all took this. Thank you, spirit. Y'all took this. One pinnacle. This could have been anything. One idea. One come up. One, one decision. All right. But you took that and you beat all odds with it. And then you, you, you blew up. You glue, you, you, you glue up. You, you glow. You like the whole reading is glowing. Like I'm speechless. And for some of you guys, you are a very powerful angelic angel around you like they don't play no games i'm getting a late while because they are comfortable with going in the motherfucking dark for your ass you hear me for real these angels are very powerful and you have one specific powerful ancestors that could call on demons to come help you assist you they're not playing all right so Yep, that's what I see. The King of Cups. All right. The King of Cups is 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 receiving the rites of passage. All right. So that way they could really be planted, comfortable in their throne as the King of Cups and not have to put their guard up about any malicious intent, any motherfucking wrong motherfucking movement. All right. Because the King of Cups is very spiritual as well. They are it's your soul. All right. And if, if fuck around with this two of cups energy, you guys may have ascended and you guys are both moving away. Y'all found a solution to a motherfucking problem that weighed y'all down for cycles and y'all close it out. Oh my gosh. It was, it was love. Love always wins because you know why once at least one of y'all has raised your frequency to the point where you are in complete serenity within yourself, now you can help, right? Now you know the difference and you can discern when a relationship is trying to attach you with codependency. You're able, you're equipped. Your cup is running over. You got cups to give. You got a whole ocean. This is your whole ocean. You, I feel like this is you collective. You got in people. 
out of here. You guiding your tribe. All right. You are remembering who the fuck your tribe is and you're guiding them to freedom through love, through compassion. It's very hard for somebody to keep being mean to you if you're showing them nothing but love. And it's not that you pussy. It's just because you know who the fuck is a part of your soul tribe. This is not, this is not talking about, oh, you just showing. No, you know who. And it's going to be a different for everybody, but you know who is a part of your circle and needs help. And you have more than a resources. You got, you connected to source. All you got to do is say, spirit, help this person or can you help them or because you're not going to spirit asking for just anybody. You're held. You're, this is your pool. This is your ocean. I'm getting yeah, me, yeah. You got a whole ocean to play with. You got a whole ocean. You you own a whole or you rule over a whole ocean. Ocean. Yeah, me, yeah, energy. Okay. Olo Kun. This is giving me Scorpio energy, Pluto energy, like rod, like going in depths up to your emotions, like literally dying and coming back up brand new. Because whatever that happened to you that you were scared of happened to you. Whatever that you were scared of happened to you already. It's divine love, all right, that, that brought this situation to a solution, all right? And it's coming fast. This shit fast. All right, so I love you guys. I hope that helped. Um, I hope that y'all liked this message. Um, it was a little different, but this shit had to get out. Later. <laughs>